Hello all and welcome to Empire 2, which I wish I was saying Empire 2, but this is pretty much Empire Total War on steroids. And this mod released about, I guess, a couple of months ago. I just found out about it. Uh, someone on the Pharaoh video actually mentioned it, and I'm like, oh, hmm, that's interesting. Let's check that out. And I am really impressed. So I, I'm ready for a kind of a let's play on here on one of these. So a couple of things. I actually changed this to late campaign and they have the United States. I know a lot of you uh, saw the Darth mod uh, campaign that I did, but there's a couple of sub mods on here and one of those is arcade battles which gives it more of that Darth mod feel. I actually have that turned off. I want a different game and there's also the VD, um, uh, the Vet Ants Disease mod. I also have that installed. Also, when we go to the first turn, I have to save it, exit, and then do the 40 unit armies because I want the 40 unit armies. I do have my graphics turned up, so hopefully uh, my PC will hold. I do have a 1080. It's still, it's still a good computer, but it is time for an upgrade. And I'm really impressed with this mod. It's something that I've always wanted, and the graphics are just really really nice so I'll try to make it look good for you guys and I'm really wanting to do United States you know something something new uh, like a new game there's also with that disease mod it also includes uh, culture religion there's a, there's a lot of other mechanics in it and I am really excited so I want to do the long campaign we're starting at 1783 we're going to 1850 I got to go to the main menu and we'll kind of get our bearings and I'll have to save it do the 40 unit armies and then we'll just start it so let's go ahead and go to the main campaign should be to gain recognition of your new nation amongst the major powers in Europe through diplomacy let's see what she has to say then build up your fledgling navy in order to prevent the Barbary states from raiding your coastlines for slaves and the British and Dutch from monopolizing your trade routes attack foreign shipping and patrol your own trade routes as much as possible to keep them open. Acquire as much of the American continent as possible in order to secure your borders from attack, beginning with those native tribes who remained loyal to the British during the Revolutionary War. In order to avoid an early land war with stronger powers, it may also be necessary to purchase land from the French and Spanish through diplomacy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yes, I am going to save. We're going to do our do the thing here with the 40 unit armies and I'll be back in a half second. And here we are. We have 40 unit armies. Should have at least I changed it. Um I'm sure it'll change at some point. Um when I get to that when I get up to 40. So anyway, let's see what we'll, let's see what we have to do here. Um I believe I need to focus on my economy. I need to start building up all these I have 7500 getting 39 that's not that's not good I can't raise taxes because there'll be some in the red and I don't want that hmm well let's get these mines going because mines usually produce yeah 1200 yeah that's mines are very useful <laughs> in this game uh, stables peasant farms we can do the that's happiness that we could actually help raise taxes on that we can actually look at research I already have, well, since it is 1783, I do, I mean, we, we do have a fair bit, um, so we can just start. It's going to take 24 turns? Jeez. Uh, do I have a gentleman? I do. Yes. Let's just get him in that, no in that school to help. Let's see, what, what do I want to do first? It's 18 turns. Wow. Okay. We could do the improved fishery. It's three turns. Let's do that one. That's going to take three turns. That'd be fine. We do have an army. John Sullivan. Let's get him in Charleston. And I really like the, the new features on this UI here. It's really, really nice. Really sleek. I do love the, the eagle. And yeah, I did do that Pharaoh video. Honestly, I ended up refunding it because, I mean, and it's a decent game, yeah, but... I've, I've played it before. I mean, I feel like I have on the other ones. I have the other ones, so I can just play those. Um, steam pump. Let's get more mines. Uh, let's see. I think the focus now needs to be on economy. We can also look at the units here. Also, which reminds me, I need to tell you guys. 
I also have replenishment turned off. And I did that for a number of reasons. One, I I just it, it adds a lot more realism to it, so and it more of a challenge. I like it. Uh, so we do not have replenishment. However, we can also we can rename I think we can rename yes we can. We can rename our well we don't want caps lock on. We can rename units. Um, so like I did in Darth Mod, if you guys you guys got some ideas, please let me know. Put them in the comments. I'll uh, kind of write them down and next I think I'm I'm gonna try to record another part today, so maybe part three I can get to your some of your suggestions. Uh, I, I should probably let you know what I have first. Uh, we do have just uh, just basic stuff here. Oh, uh, can I research or um, recruit some? Oh, who are these engineering team irregulars? Huh? I don't think I've seen those. I did have a, a play through a little bit. However, it wasn't with the VDM mod, so I just installed that. So I guess that's new. Uh, American volunteers, PA militia. Uh, there's the American Military Infantry. They do have 21 accuracy. Ooh, the American Vol the PA Militia is 26 accuracy. Huh. Hessian rate's 27 accuracy. That's nice. 28 for the Pennsylvania Line Infantry. And I do have... Um, like I said, I do have the graphics turned up a little bit. I do have ultra... Ultra settings on their on the units on the unit size, so they are 260, 200 for light infantry. Uh, is that 100? 100 for the cavalry. I know Darth Mod might. I don't. Darth Mod. I think it's a little, maybe a little bit more, but uh, uh, I like it. Um, and I do have the 40 unit army, so we're trust me. Uh, the battles are really, really nice on here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade those farms. Get a couple of units here. Some mob because they. I mean. They are rather expensive. Units are a little expensive on here, I won't lie. But all this building will increase my uh, income a little bit. I don't like this guy. We have Elias Budno on as a president who looks like George Washington. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, let's see. Let's kick him. Oh my god, he's worse. It's crazy. All right, um, I think all there is to do is just end the turn. So let's go up here and look at... I do want some trade from people. Uh, that'd be nice. Denmark, would you like trade? No, okay. Fair enough. Hanover. No. Britain, you are unfriendly. I said, I'm gonna... I have a feeling you're going to declare war on me at, at some point. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Not, well, I don't trust that. Uh, Britain is rather not happy with me at this moment. Let's try Prussia. No. Okay. Let's try... Russia, do you have anything trade? Oh, okay, thank you. Let's like that. Um, do I have? Can I look at like some of my culture stuff or whatever? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there it is. Population, American. So there's the population, my slaves, and agriculture. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is done very nicely. I, I, I really like how they do the religion and the culture stuff. I think that's I think that's pretty much it. So I am going to just end the turn. And these in turn phases are not not too bad. I noticed that the Ottoman Empire doesn't get stuck. I do like the new icons at the top. The yeah, this mod is. I really love this mod. It's really nice. I'm very impressed. That in turn does does take it, it takes a minute or declared who sweden denmark of course shocker there uh or declared spain and great britain again shocker uh traits gained oh okay uh, alliance broken uh, the hot air balloon oh 
paper makers Joseph uh, Michel and Jacquetine. Uh That's cool. The brothers lost control of the balloon, which floated over a mile before crashing. Uh, it was then destroyed by some bemused onlookers, presumably under the uh, the premise that they were preventing an invasion by the dreaded moon people. Oh. Well, there was a lot of psychedelics back then. Uh, let's see. Okay, so next phase. How much am I getting now? Uh, I'm getting like 5,500, uh, 5, so we're increasing that in economy a little bit, which is really my goal right now. I don't know if we're going to get to a battle this turn. I Maybe. I, you know, I'm going to try, but right now it's not looking like it. <laughs> It might be next turn. And I'm noticing that these some of these buildings can actually decrease recruitment because I was griping earlier how expensive these units were. So I guess there's also buildings to lower that recruitment cost. That'll help with the happiness. That's only that's not a lot of money, so we'll just do that. Uh, commercial port that will help my trade, but not nobody wants to trade with me right now, so it's kind of futile to do that. I got nineteen hundred. I think we need to start looking at some units units here company line infantry we can do more of the mob I mean I've used them I have played a little bit uh, before I recorded uh, yesterday actually uh, the mobs they're actually pretty good they're they're pretty decent uh, let's see we got the colonial line infantry just a little bit of accuracy but as you can see that the, the mob has better defense so the the numbers are slightly varied yeah, in, in a good way. It gives a little bit of good variety in kind of what you want to go for. We could get some of these Jamestown settlers because they're 900. And uh, they're they're actually decent as well. I do have a little fleet here, the 24-gun 20, frigate. John Barry. Maybe we can... Uh, let's, well, let's put him in the... Let's put a bit... Stock him and... Because I think this thing does diseases too, like if if a group of ships are together, uh, scurvy is going to outbreak. So let's end the turn again. And something... Uh, they want me to get what? What happened here? Did I just break the game? Huh? Your offers gift technology rights a man gift techno... No, I'm not giving you a million dollars. No way. All right. So I f totally forgot to mention that there is. Uh, we're in summer. This is the third turn. Technically, it is summer, and so I think there might be six turns a year on here, which is absolutely uh, amazing. I really love that. So I'm going to. Uh, what do I? Let's see. What? Let's look here and see what we need. I am slowly increasing in the economy. I can actually, I can, ooh, I can tax the middle class. Let's do that. How does that help? Does that give me more? 62. Yes, it does. Perfect. Yeah, that was really weird on that turn. <laughs> um, Britain uh, offered me, like, they want me to give them, like, the rights of man. And I had a million. I had, like, a, was it, a, I think it was a million or 10 million or something. That was that was extremely weird. Also, well, that well, uh, it, it was it was weird enough to make me kind of do this right here. Uh, Great Britain, uh, we're gonna we're gonna cancel our trade with you because that yeah, you just you just kind of freaked me out a little bit. I that was a bad vibe. I I don't want that from you. So uh, no. Who else am I gonna get trade with? Because really nobody else wants to trade with me. They they want they want me to give them seven forty. Uh, uh, okay, I'll do it. I'll be fine. Okay. Well, we're well. That kind of took me down a little bit, but I will be able to make that up, no problem. And what? Uh, 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 uh that's too much. Uh, uh, you crazy? You crazy? Why are you asking for twenty two hundred on a trade? No. No 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 no. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's pretty much... I don't think anybody else wants to trade. Now, here is something else I've noticed. There's some new things as well for this as well. Uh, they have the warehouse, which 
enhances the national prestige, you got happiness, you got minus 10% to cultural unrest, uh, a little bit more happiness between lower and middle, uh, some wealth, and it adds some uh, te new technology. If you do the military billets, you have recruitment capacity, the culture, some of the happiness, and the prestige. If you do the hospital, uh, you get the increased capacity, some happiness, and then you get military hospital and field ambulances. So, uh, I th these are kind of with Empire 2, which is uh, the mod, which is really cool. Add some different things to it. Let's go ahead and increase our farms here because that's going to help. I think maybe we could try to build some units. Uh, I f totally forgot I had this army up here Sir. just sitting there. Let's get him hey, into Boston. Hey. Baston. What can we do here? Oh, we got Baston volunteers. We can get some Baston volunteers. Let's do... Uh, that's 1,500 left. Let's do two. And... We get... we Well, we could probably get some of them. Get one of the mob there. Okay. I believe that is all... That's pretty much all I can do now. Getting some... We'll, we'll, we'll be alright. We'll be okay. We got traits gained, unit recruited, war declared between Maratha Confederacy and Portugal. Okay. Another hot air balloon. Why does it keep on telling me this? Uh, maybe we should also... I've already got a stables. So peasant farm? You probably do... Yeah. Be fine. Alright, end the turn again. Uh, okay. I think I might have... I don't know if I almost broke the game or found something interesting with this mod, I guess. or I, I'm not really sure. But when I had trade with Britain, then... I all you know that turn happened and I had like a million gold and they wanted they wanted some weird stuff um, so now that I've canceled the trade they have declared war on me so I I guess we're at war I knew that was gonna happen sooner or later agent recruited uh, it is now winter 1783 and I don't think we're going to be able to get to a battle on this part I probably will end it here pretty soon but I'm pretty sure we're going to have a battle next part uh, building constructed okay so we got that done I don't really know what that is there. Uh, recruitment report technological advance no oh, we got improved uh, fishery now We're recruiting, we're researching that. Uh, I do have ink. Oh, got some mortar batteries, some three pound guns. Ugh. I think it's no, that's that's fixed artillery and then artillery. Okay, uh, we're in Boston. Let's go to oh dear. We need to start since Britain did declare war, we might as well go for Arcadia at some point here pretty soon. So I need to start getting a forest ready. Um, uh, let's see, how much is that? 14, 18, oh my god. I don't want the pikemen. I don't... No, that's pioneer militia. See, 19 accuracy. Not as good attack. 14 defense. 12 morale. It's just, I, I need to lower the recruitment cost at some point. Of these, of these units. Which, getting these buildings, that's, what's, that's how it's going to happen. We got a magistrate here. That repression, happiness, civil unrest. Could eventually get that. Or could get another school. I mean, that might help. Do I have any more gentlemen? I have... This guy's in Williamsburg. He's an agent. So I got two agents. Actually, let's get you up here. Let's get guaranteed. both of the agents up here to start messing with Britain a little bit. We got the small religious school. We could probably... Yeah, you know what? Let's get that. Let's build that. And... We got 2,600 left. Oh dear. Um, 
Let's get some Hessian and a mob. So we'll, that'll be a nice little group of units there. Oh, I'm getting AK next turn. Wow, that's that that helps. Can I up the? Nope. Can I up that? Nope. Okay, we'll just leave it as it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have reached the end of the first part and doing somewhat okay. I believe the battles will come next turn. Maybe we'll see. I am definitely going to go for Acadia. That might, if there's nobody there, that is obviously going to be an auto resolve because there's just no sense in doing that. But I'm sure Britain will be bringing down some forces here uh, to meet me. So we'll end this first part here. I do thank you for watching. Uh, give a like and subscribe for more. I plan on doing this. I think I am going to also do Lords of the Fallen. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it a little bit, see what it's like, and uh, we'll see what happens. So. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.